Hey everyone, today is Tuesday, March the 1st. My name is Rafi Boyajian, currency analyst at XM.com, here to provide you with your Forex news update. Shares across Asia opened higher on Tuesday as market sentiment was boosted by yesterday's move by China's central bank to cut the reserve requirement ratio. The People's Bank of China reduced the amount of cash that large banks must hold as reserves by 50 basis points to 17%. The Shanghai SE Composite Index ended the day 1.7% higher, reversing earlier losses from weaker-than-expected PMI data. The official manufacturing PMI for February declined to 49.0 from 49.4 in January and below forecasts of 49.3. The private survey from Kaixin also came in below expectations at 48.0 versus estimates of 48.3 and down from 14.4 the prior month. Meanwhile, data out of Japan was mixed, with the unemployment rate dropping to 3.2% in January, beating forecasts of 3.3%. But household spending unexpectedly declined, dropping by 0.6% month-on-month in January, confounding expectations of a 0.3% gain. The yen pulled back from the lows it hit at the start of Asian trading as risk appetite improved. This helped the dollar climb from a low of 112.15 yen to 112.96 yen in late session. The euro also advanced from fresh three-year lows of 122.06 to 122.90 yen. The dollar was broadly steady against other currencies, despite dovish comments from a Fed official. New York Fed President William Dudley said on Monday that the balance of risks to growth and inflation are slightly to the downside. The remarks didn't provide any support to euro-dollar, as the pair remained under pressure today from Monday's flash inflation figures that showed the eurozone slipped back into deflation in February. The euro held near yesterday's lows at around $1.0880 in Asian trading today. The Australian dollar was one of the better performing currencies on Tuesday as the Reserve Bank of Australia held its cash rate unchanged at 2% at its latest policy meeting. The Aussie rose from 0.7130 versus the greenback before the decision to run 0.7180 in late Asian session. The New Zealand dollar was also firmer at 0.6619 as it made cautious gains ahead of the latest global dairy auction later today. In commodities, oil prices moved higher on Tuesday after data showing that OPEC output fell in February. U.S. oil futures were last trading 1.3% higher at $34.19 a barrel. Looking ahead to the rest of the day, manufacturing PMI for the Eurozone and the UK will be eyed, along with the Canadian GDP figures and the ISM manufacturing PMI for the U.S. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.